Dear audience, we recently informed you in a special broadcast about the escalation at the demonstration against the educational plan of the state government in Stuttgart in Germany. We welcome you from our English studio. Klagemauer TV was live in attendance at, and documented in detail how rioting demonstrators disturbed a peaceful demonstration of educational plan critics massively. They belong to a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, transgender, intersexual and queer lifestyle, short LGBTIQ. As a reminder, the marches did not invoke discrimination of people with these sexual affections, but pointed to the fact that there is an overemphasis of the interests of the LGBTIQ lobby. After the LGBTIQ supporters had blocked the protest march several times, the initiatives called off the demo upon the advice of the police, out of concern for the physical integrity of the demonstrators. Just a few days before the planned peaceful rally took place, the organizers had cause for some anxiety. On the internet page queer.de, which is close to the LGBTIQ union and also advertised the counter demonstration, one could read the following blog entry. I would suggest a demonstration ban for homo haters and, if necessary, even follow it through with armed force. These backwards idiots must finally be put in their place. Dear viewers, this is not just a matter of an irritating and alarming opinion of one single person, but it is the position of a bigger group of people from the LGBTIQ scene. Until today, this blog entry is still to be read on queer.de and has not been removed by the people who run the internet portal. Not only our footage, but also a broadcast of the German TV channel SWR3 proves that these words were not just a threat by the counter-demonstrators of the like-minded LGBTIQ people. Already Saturday night the following had been reported. Shortly after the start of the demonstration, the opponents headed towards the critics of the educational plan. The police had to take action. A female demonstrator was injured, amongst others. We switch over to the interview with Mrs. P. Mrs. P, you have been hurt at the demonstration in Stuttgart last Saturday. What happened? Yes, I was walking with the protest march. Actually, towards the German state parliament. Um, in front of the castle it stagnated because we were blocked by the opponents. And since it was not continued naturally, the Nannis came up and our protest march wanted to pass them on the left, trying to get around the opponents. But the opponents realized that and started running towards us. And then there was a collision. And all of a sudden, two people were standing right in front of me with a big banner so that I couldn't move on. And from the right, a young man jumped in. I didn't notice him before. He was standing there suddenly and grabbed my hand and twisted my right thumb. And then I shouted, hey, and I didn't know immediately what to do. Chaos was breaking loose. Two seconds later, he was gone. He disappeared. And I just realized that my hand began to swell and that something was injured. Yes. And how is your health now? Yes, I went to the Leonberger Hospital after the demonstration. They told me directly that the most important ligament of the thumb into the hand most probably was torn. And the diagnosis was confirmed. When I was back in Switzerland, you could clearly see on the X-ray pictures that the ligament really was ripped off. This morning I had the operation. It had to be operated, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to use the hand anymore. A small titanium anchor was inserted and the two torn ligament ends were mended. Yes, now I'm on some painkillers. It hurts pretty much. This hand must be rested for six weeks now with a cast. 
which is, of course, quite some interference for me. And we hope, but it's not sure yet, that the hand will be normal after six weeks again. How did you experience the riot? Who did cause it? Well, it is very clear that the opponents of the demonstrators were very aggressive. We were demonstrating actually really calmly. We sang songs and shouted lines like, protect our children. So, no provocation towards the other side. I didn't see or experience such a thing. And we were disturbed from the beginning. Already, when the rally took place, gay and lesbian couples jumped in front of the microphone and kissed and stroked each other. The plug of the microphone was pulled and later, as I said, we were blocked completely in front of the castle, so we couldn't continue walking. We were insulted, the police were insulted and even though it basically concerns exactly that group that always cries for tolerance and persistence and saying that they would be discriminated, it is exactly that group that strikes with intolerance. And, as I said, I think that my hand has proved that there was also massive discrimination up to criminal assault. Yes. What do you think about the behavior of the policemen? As well, I was surprised that, that one could hardly see anything. Well, I saw very little that showed we were really protected. As I said, at the rally, I didn't see any police officers. You had to call them. When the plug was pulled, the police were called. Afterwards, it was a complete mystery to me why we were standing in front of the castle for half an hour and the police basically didn't do anything. They just stood there waiting. And I was wondering how it is possible that an approved demonstration is to be disturbed in such a way and the police don't do anything about it, don't want to do anything about it, or maybe aren't authorized to. I don't know. But I would have really expected, really expected more. And in part, there were situations when I really felt sorry for them. Well, I saw how a block of counter-demonstrators were bumping into the police officers after they had counted. One, two, three. And the police officers flew two meters away. And I thought to myself, that's just not possible. They just stood there and were knocked down. And I do ask myself what somebody is thinking, how such a demonstration is to be planned. 700 people or how to protect oneself. That's my big question, yeah. It is clear, ladies and gentlemen, which group used violence to push through their interests. Regardless of the truth, a news release of the German press agency DPA, which was spread by many German main media, shows the event in a very different light. It reads, The demonstrations were very emotional, signs were inflamed, paint bombs flew through the air, from both sides. About 200 policemen were in action. By putting in the words from both sides, offenders become victims and hundreds of peaceful demonstrators are made out to be hooligans. By the way, the question should be asked, why were about 200 policemen not able to protect the demonstration from the hooligans, so the demonstration had to be finished early? Was it even desired to remove the troublemakers at all? And why was the counter-demonstration permitted directly next to the main demonstration, even though the danger of conflicts was known? But the question, which is much more urgent, is why is such a clear corruption of facts taking place in the media landscape? Does one purposely want to hinder the intolerant and undemocratic attitude of the LGBTIQ people who don't quit crying for more tolerance from being pre presented to the public? 
The state government is urgently recommended to thoroughly separate themselves from the LGBTIQ lobby, their supporters, goals and the means they use to achieve their goals. It should be reconsidered whether these people are the proper advisors for a new curriculum plan, which should be characterized by freedom, tolerance and respect. We of Klagemauer TV will keep you informed on further happenings. Now, for today, we want to say goodbye to you, dear viewers, and wish you all a well-informed time.